Hey everyone, this is Sally. I filmed uh, a tripod. It's my son's and so I'm hoping that this video is going to be better than my previous ones where I just hold my iPhone. Hopefully you won't be shaking. But this is an album that um, I just completed yesterday and it's already on eBay and I'll put the link down there for you. <coughs> Excuse me. But a few years ago, I think it was about four, maybe four and a half, five years ago, I made a uh, an album like this that had this flip over spine that closed on the front but I made it with the long paper bags and chipboard but this album is chipboard the really thick book board uh, type chipboard and the inside is like medium weight chipboard so really sturdy I love the way it turned out and I use button closure uh, because that to me goes with the country theme and here is the spine Love that. Love this is an Articate charm. And of course, because the way I did it, I have a second spine. Love the rooster and love this paper. And for this, I used this Farm Fresh stack. I've had this for like three years. I also made a smaller uh, chipboard ring bound album with this Farm Fresh stack several years ago. So um, I still had it, <clears throat> pulled it out wanted to make this. Anyway, I was looking through uh, my videos the other day and I found that family long paper bag album where I had done this flap and I thought I want to make another one of those but I want to use all chipboard for it. So that's what I've done here. Um, and I wanted to use the country thing because I wanted to use this paper stack. This is corrugated chipboard tag that I made and has the eyelets and wire and tied some ribbon there and I, I put gesso on it. And this is a, a printable that I had in my computer files. This is a beautiful little tag. I printed this from Seneca Pond Crafts. I'm a designer for Eileen on SenecaPondCrafts.com. And she also has a store on Etsy and Artfire. And I'll put the link to those below also. And uh, most of the graphics throughout the album are from Seneca Pond Crafts. So let's open it up and see what we got going on the inside. This is the inside of the flaps. Uh, and I put these printables that came from the paper stack. There's like a large sheet of 12 by 12 with these different tags that you can cut out. So that's what I've done there. This is the inside of the front cover. Love it, love it. Uh, this is one of the printables from my computer files. I made a little tag here. This little pocket, uh, I stuck this tag in here to show you that you can add photos in this pocket. Over here, I love, love the colors of this page. This photo mat is just slipped uh, under the belly band that's made with a ribbon. And this is actually a photo wallet. It opens up and you can put four photos in there, ladies. So that's really nice. Photo mat here. Just simply add your photos. And uh, this is kind of jumbled up because I made photos with my Canon Rebel camera last night. So... Uh, the tags are a little bit messed up in there but this is another photo wallet and the tags for this one actually this kind of does like this but I hope you'll go to eBay and see the still pics of this so pretty these printables thank you Eileen love Seneca Pond Crafts printables they are so gorgeous anything you can imagine it is there ladies from shabby chic to grunge She's even got some steampunk going on a little bit. And uh, my next album is going to be a steampunk valentine. So I'm excited about doing that. This page, so cute. I love the rooster. I got him from my computer file. But this is one of Eileen's graphics here. Uh, love this. This came in the paper stack. More Seneca Pond Craft tag printables. Now, when I print out her uh, tags... I ink around the edges so they're, they look, might look a little darker than what um, they appear on Eileen's site. But, uh, but they're just nice without inking too. So if you want to ink around the edges when you get yours, you could do that or, or not. Either way, they're gorgeous. So, And I've got this Battenberg trim along the gussets of each page. Look at this. Love these colors. Love it. And look at that. Such a pretty tag. Love it. Here's your photo mat. And of course this pocket. You know you could add some photos in it also. 
You can arrange your tags any way you like. Photo mat here, and here's one of the flip mats. Love those because you can put three photos in a flip mat rather than just one on one on a photo mat. It's kind of hard to do this upside down, ladies. <laughs> okay, over here, another flip mat, and you can put a recipe in here, or you could journal, or you could just add a photo over that. Whatever you want to do on that. And this is the same on the inside, so I won't flip it open. Beautiful tag. Love this. Nice photo mat there. Another flip mat. Pretty tag. Love, love, love it. So country. So, And the reason I titled this Country at Heart is so anyone can use it. You don't have to live in the country or live on a farm to use this album. I just love it. So, more of those Seneca Pond gra graphics. Look, isn't this one adorable? Love that. Two photo mats here. I hope I'm in the camera. Um, and this is the inside of the back cover. And it just closes. And the flap comes over. And we just close our button closure. So there it is, ladies. It's beautiful chipboard album. It's on eBay. So go take a look at all the pics. And if you're interested, place your bid. Thanks a bunch.